Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a butch proof evening makeup look. And if you suffer with watery eyes like I do and you smudge your lipstick and your mascara flakes, this is the tutorial for you because it is the exact makeup look I will wear if I wanna make sure none of that happens. So I'm starting off with the Ola Hendrickson Banana Bright Face Primer. This helps to smooth my skin without feeling silicone-y and it also gives me hydration and glow which is perfect for making the foundation last all night. For foundation, I'm going to use the Hourglass Seamless Finish Foundation. This is high coverage, but you only need a little bit. So you're not getting a cake face in order to get that coverage. You buff it in really well to the skin and it ends up actually quite sheer feeling on the skin, but it still gives you that great coverage. Lighter layers of foundation will actually last so much longer than heavy ones. So just use it sparingly and you still get the coverage. So then I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is really long wearing and it has high coverage as well. I'm using it on my under eyes, on my lids as a base for eyeshadow and also to highlight. And then I'm using my Beauty Blender to blend that out because the moisture really helps to sheer it out and the more sheer that you get it, the longer it will last. And you can see it really helps to highlight but gives that coverage too. It's really good. One of the biggest secrets to budge proof makeup is powder. We all know this, but we don't want to look cakey. So find yourself a nice powder like this Kat Von D Lock It translucent powder and you won't look like a cake face. I use this to set underneath my eyes, across my lids and in any areas I don't want my foundation slipping or moving, especially around the lipstick when you're wearing a red lip, you want that to really stay in place. And then I'm going to use the Becca Be A Light palette and in the areas that I haven't, baked with the translucent powder, I'm just going to apply that. And this is a really nice blurring powder with a bit of a glow in it. Definitely doesn't look matte and cakey. It's really smoothing and really pretty. And I'm also going to use this light bronzer from the Be A Light palette. These powders are so gorgeous. This is really light in terms of a bronzer, but it will start to shape and add dimension to my face. I just love this palette. Next, I'm going to use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette. So I'm sticking with a very simple matte eye look today to accentuate the liner. I'm just adding a light shade all across the lid on a fat, fluffy brush. And then I'm going to use this light warm shade to start building up a bit of shape. So I'm just using a small fluffy brush to apply that into the crease and I'm winging it out towards the end of my eye, always blending up towards the temples and elongating the eye. You always wanna make sure that you're pulling the eyeshadow out. So I'm just gradually building that up until I get the desired effect and then I'm going to use this light grey in my crease to create more depth and shadow and dimension. Just add a little bit of product at a time, slowly blending, slowly winging out the look. Take your time with this, there's no rush and you can never blend too much. I also take that underneath the lash line for continuity so it looks nice and blown out. Go back in with a clean fluffy brush and keep blending. You can never blend too much. Now I'm going in with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This is one of the only liners that I can actually do a dramatic wing with. It is so fine. It's got actual like little hairs on the end rather than just a foamy tip. So it's really easy to maneuver and manipulate and use. I just start off by drawing a line along my lash line, just filling in all of those little gaps in the skin. And then I'll start to create my wing. Just take your time with this as well. There's no need to rush. You want to build on the wing rather than trying to go in full force. I like to just kind of map the shape of my wing and then color it in. I know that a lot of you have trouble with eyeliner smudging as well, but this tattoo liner is basically like a tattoo. It's not going anywhere until you wash it off. Going back in with my blending brush, as always, can never blend too much. And I'm just taking a bit of that light warm shade under the eye as well, just to make sure everything is soft and there's continuity around the eyeshadow blend. Now I'm going in with the Kat Von D Go Big or Go Home Mascara. This is a new release and I'm so obsessed with it. I wear mascara every day to the gym, everything. And I need one that is smudge proof and flake proof, but that is gonna give me really pretty lashes. So you can see this has a big fluffy brush and it really coats every single lash, creating that kind of mega dense, falsy look. So you don't need to be fiddling around with glues and lashes or anything. No matter how much you layer this, it isn't going to get clumpy or flaky. It's going to keep giving you volume and length so you can build up to that really dense, 
falsy look and it's a really inky beautiful black that's going to look great for a night out my lashes are so pitiful like look at that before and after it's insane and i have given it the gym test and it did not smudge now moving on to the kat von d everlasting lip liner and i'm just using this as kind of like a guide for my liquid lipstick you could totally wear this on its own because it is really long lasting and it is super pigmented but I like to go bulletproof with my lipstick if I'm going to wear a red. So I'm going on top with the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Outlaw. This is one of the only reds I can wear, one of the only formulas I can wear if I want to not worry about my lipstick on a night out. It is gorgeous. It stays in place. It is super pigmented and rich and it just looks really classy and pretty, I think. Because we're wearing such a matte look, I am going to go in with a highlight today. Of course, I can't skip a highlight. This is the Fenty Diamond Bomb, and I'm applying that to all the usual places. For such an icy looking highlight, it's actually more of a wet look when it's on the face. So it looks really pretty to kind of bring a bit of a pop to this more matte set in place look. And finally, I'm using the Fenty Sunstalker Bronzer just to add a little bit more dimension to my face, a little bit of warmth. And I think it just helps me to blend in my neck as well with my fake tan and just finishes off the look really, really nicely. These are great bronzers. Definitely check them out. And I'm just showing you here that that lipstick is budge proof. How good is that? <laughs> So that is the finished look. I hope you like it. I really, really love this mascara and I'm so happy to work with Kat Von D on this campaign. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment if you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you again really soon.